In this video, you'll learn how 2FA1's risk-based authentication PIN policy functions. The concept of the security around 2FA1's risk-based authentication PIN policy is that a user may or may not need to enter their PIN based upon the level of risk associated with the logon. It's not simply something like a grace period used in some of the competitive products where a person only needs to enter their card and PIN when they get on to shift, and then they are no longer required to enter their PIN for the remainder of the shift. 2FA does more forensic analysis on each logon associated with the individual in the risk associated with that logon attempt. In this scenario, I'm going to be logging on with an RFID card. In this case, the system's detected that the user must enter a card and their PIN during the logon process. Risk factors can be set to determine the acceptable level of risk within the organization. In this case, the user is going to manually log off this system and roam to a new system. When they get to the new system, they present their card. And in this case, no level of risk or a lesser level of risk was determined with the logon and the user was not required to enter their PIN. This is a better process than simply not requiring a user to enter their PIN after they've authenticated with their card and PIN during a certain period of time. There's many scenarios where a user can lose their card during a shift and if that card was compromised, the person that compromised the card could easily tap that card on any system within the organization and easily gain access to protected information. 2FA1's risk-based authentication PIN policies ensure a higher level of security while providing the same level of convenience